Hey guys, how's everybody doing on this beautiful Wednesday evening here uh, in the world of YouTube and in my world, Central Florida? Beautiful day, 85 degrees. Couldn't ask for anything better. I decided to do an all uh, Salvation Army 50% off day today. I did not go to the bins, um, but I'm going to be a little disappointing right now. I left the entire bag. I bought a huge bag of stuff from the Salvation Army. I left it at my mom's uh, for her to list, which she'll be working on tomorrow. But I will do a haul video. I told her to put it all back, to fold it all up, put it back in the bag, and I will do a haul video on what I got from the Salvation Army. Um, it was a pretty good day. Uh, I spent like $25, which means it was actually about 50 bucks worth of stuff. Um, normal cost on most of those was 2 or $3. So I bought about 25 items. It wasn't so many items, but it was really good stuff. So I think I turned my my twenty five dollars into like two hundred and fifty. So I'll have that video for you guys tomorrow on Thursday. Um, me and Kate have not decided yet, and I've got to decide quickly overnight tonight or tomorrow morning if we are leaving tomorrow night late, like midnight, or if we're gonna wait till like five in the morning Friday. Not sure yet. I think I want to leave as early as possible. Um, but I'll make sure to get a video up tomorrow night, uh, the haul video up before we roll out if we leave. Or before we go to bed before we leave Friday morning. And then, of course, Friday is Q&A Friday, TGIF, uh, which will be done from a hotel, which I can now tell you is the Hilton Garden Inn in Baltimore. Um, if you guys are in the Baltimore area, you'd like to say hello to me. We will be in Baltimore Friday night, Saturday night, Friday around dinner time, Saturday uh, all day until the wedding that we are attending, and then Sunday for a couple of hours before we leave to head back down the road for Tampa. So if you are in that area and you would like to say hello, please let me know. Uh, email me, private message me, and I will get together with you guys uh, while we're in Baltimore. Um, we are not stopping along the way for any of you up the coast. I'm sorry. We are going to motor all the way to Baltimore. I'm trying to make the trip as short as possible. Um, so unfortunately, we won't be able to make any stops this time only in Baltimore and only coming back to Tampa. So that's our Thursday and our Friday uh, for the video schedule. And then Saturday, we'll be at the wedding. I believe it's at like 6 p.m. or 6.30. So I assume between like 5 p.m. and midnight will be uh, uh, MIA. Um, don't expect a video unless I get one up early Friday before the wedding. Uh, if not, I'll just do it Sunday um, when we get back to Florida. I don't know how late we'll be back Sunday. We'll see. I don't know about that schedule Saturday or Sunday, but we'll see. Um, anyways, I want to thank everybody for the comments, messages, emails, everything you guys have been sending. I've been spending a lot of time replying to them. Um, so bear with me if I haven't got to yours yet. Uh, I got some offers on some merchandise that folks want to sell, uh, some uh, questions about asking to look at your eBay stores. Um, uh, the blank spreadsheets that I promised to send everybody, I have sent them to nearly 100 people already. Uh, if you ask and you haven't got the blank spreadsheets, they are on their way. Give me a little bit of time. I have Kate trying to help respond to those. She's asleep right now. It's, uh, it's pretty late tonight. Um, I was out for dinner with some friends, so we will get to you guys. I'm sorry if it's taking a little bit more time than I, uh, anticipated, but, Literally 250 plus messages, emails, comments a day. So I will definitely get to each and every one of you that sends me a message, a private message, or an email. Um, with that said, tonight's video is going to be a little bit about what I've sold this month since the month is coming to an end. We've only got, um, including Thursday and Friday, that's it. Saturday is the first, so we've just got two days left in the month. I'm going to go ahead and do a sales recap for uh, this month. Uh, it looks like in our last 31 days, I'm looking at the screen right now. I'll show you guys. I'll actually turn the camera. Um, let's see right there. I think you guys can see it. We've done 15,829. We're closing in on a $16,000 month, which is super, super good. Um, and you guys can see our last week as well. I'll show you those numbers. Let's see. Um, there it is. 3,350 and 390. So based on that number, we're averaging 500 a day, a little less than 500. And today we did about 400. Today was a little slower than I would have liked. But um, we're trying to hold true to that that $500 number. That'll put us at 15,000. I'd like to grow it to get to about six to 700 a day. Um, so let's jump into my sales. I've got a bunch of items set to the side. I'm going to change screens from my 
face to the internet window and we'll check out some of the items I've pulled to the side for you guys to see that we have actually sold this month. Um, I'm going to try to do this more often where I show you guys not just the items that I buy, but then after they sell so you guys can get an idea of, you know, you already know that I paid a quarter or 50 cents or a dollar for it and then you get to see when it sells for 10, 12, 15 dollars. So let's jump screens and check out my sold items. Okay, so here we go with my sold screen here. And uh, we're going to start off with just a little uh, World Tech Toys and Vision Spy Drone controller. I don't know what this goes to, but I sold it for $12 and at cost, which our hard goods is $0.60 cents a pound. This weighed like half a pound, which means I paid $0.30 cents for it. Sold it for $12 with free shipping, which means it probably cost me or it probably netted me around $7 to $8 on a $0.30 cent purchase. So... These little controllers, anything that's a remote control is always worth purchasing if you can get them for like 50 cents a dollar. Uh, no idea still what it's for. I didn't look it up. Don't care. All I know is it was selling. I checked to make sure that it was under completed, and it was. So that's the first item. Uh, this was a tap out men's 2XL t-shirt. It was just a regular t-shirt. $1.50 per pound. This was probably 10 to 12 ounces, so probably paid about a dollar for it. Sold for nine with free shipping. That means my net was around five bucks, four dollar profit. Not great, but four dollars and it sold pretty quickly. I didn't have that one too long. PS Vita. This is for my pawn shops. A lot of you guys ask what kind of electronics I buy. Uh, this Vita was a little bit scratched up. You can see it. It was at a pawn shop for sixty dollars. I offered them fifty, which they accepted. It sold immediately for ninety nine dollars. The net on that was about uh, PayPal and eBay fees were probably around twelve dollars. Shipping was about five, so seventeen off of one hundred ninety, about eighty three bucks, and I paid fifty for it. So I made thirty three dollars on a fifty dollar purchase. Now, of course, that's much more cost out of pocket, but it sold quickly. It's an electronic, and I made a bigger profit. So you can always look electronics up. They sold this cheap. Normally, they would have sold this for seventy or eighty bucks, but because it was kind of scratched up they decided to sell it to me for 50 so deals to be had pound puppy outfits this actually went to one of my good instagram followers and youtube viewers uh 80s toy collector he paid uh 9.99 for this with free shipping newborn outfits pound puppies very collectible people love pound puppies i'm sure he uh, enjoyed this so pretty good there Thank you for purchasing that, by the way. Uh, Vet High Men's 32 Plaid Board Shorts. These were new with tags. A brand I hadn't heard of, but they were new with tags. So I went ahead and picked them up for, oh, probably about 75 cents at the bins. They sold for $13. You guys can see it right there. Sold for $13. Let's move along. Uh, in Character Racket Referee Junior Small Dress and Socks. Uh, with free shipping, uh, picked this up at the bins as well. This was in a little baggie. I probably paid about, this is probably right around a pound for this, maybe a little less. So I probably paid like $1.25, sold for $15. Uh, Sequest Woman's 1112, size 1112, pink and black wetsuit. Ooh, I didn't have a space there. Uh, this sold for $25 with free shipping. It was kind of heavy. I shipped it uh, priority. It went close, so thankfully it was like $6.50. Plus fees, I paid about $8, $9, so eh, probably netted right around 14 bucks on this, 15 bucks on this. So uh, at the bins, it was probably 2 or 3 Pretty good $12 purchase on this one. Wetsuits sell good. I also got a, um, a little boys one I'll show you in a minute. Set of stamps. They sold for $9.50 with free shipping, about a $6, $5 to $6 net. At the bins, these were probably about $0.10. Stamps do really, really well. Here's a golf polo. It had Masters written on it. Uh, probably about one, just shy of a pound, so about a buck and a quarter. And we sold it for 14 You guys saw that in one of my videos. Polos do good. This is the one I picked up at the garage sale I took you guys along. The guy tried to give it to me. I ended up giving him a dollar. It sold two days later for 15 bucks. Living with blind dogs. Very good book. 15 bucks. Paid a dollar for it, netted around, eh, probably netted around 10, 10, 50. Paid a dollar. Pretty good $9 profit on that book. Here's a basic Hollister shirt that I sold for $9. I paid about 75 cents for it. 
I netted right around uh, five bucks on it. So I made a four dollar profit, four fifty profit. Quick sale on a basic Hollister shirt. For those of you that say they don't sell, they do. They sell pretty well. You're not going to make a home run. You'll make about five dollars profit each. But five dollars profit is five dollars profit. BB Sport little jacket. This was probably around a dollar twenty-five, and it sold for fourteen. So you're looking at like a ten dollar profit. Nine, nine to ten dollar profit so pretty good that's the range i like to hit if i can do nine to ten dollars on every item i'm super super okay with that so let's move on uh, another hollister basic men's t-shirt nine dollars these things fill my store and they make me five dollars at a time two three four times a day easily on just those basic ones tommy bahama shirt twelve dollars that i probably paid about 75 cents for tommy bahama sells well a little better than hollister and, and abercrombie um, so that was probably right around a $7 net, probably made a $6 profit on that one. A Tommy Bahama men's shirt. I got $20 out of this. This was out of the Goodwill retail. This is one of those ones I sprung on and paid like three or four bucks for, but there you see it sold for 20 net of 15, maybe 14 made a $10 profit. So good pickup from the Goodwill retail store. There's our scrubs, Dickie Disney's Mickey and Minnie christmas scrubs people are stocking up sold for 9.99 purchased for 50 cents out of uh this was purchased actually from the salvation army for a dollar on half off day so ten dollars gonna leave us with uh, about six dollar net and uh that's a five dollar profit we'll take it people love the scrubs especially disney rapunzel dress this came out of the bins Sold for 15 purchased. This was right around a pound. Uh, this was like 15 ounces. So I probably paid $1.50 for it. Shipped it with first class. Uh, it just barely made it. And uh, probably netted 10 on a $1.50 purchase. $8.50 profit. Again, I don't go for the big, huge home runs. I do a lot of volume. So, Oh, here's the ties. You guys want to see some of the ties. This tie had horses on it. It sold for $8, purchased it, of course, for like $0.15, cent, netted like $4 on it, made a $3.50, $3.75 profit. So that's pretty good. Another tie sold for $8. Same deal. Crayola tie. Um, Bride's drinking, tie, or drinking team. This is all of those novelty shirts. This was probably fifty cents out of the bin. It sold for twelve dollars. It was a net of ten, nine, eight, about seven bucks. So we made right around a six fifty profit on this thing, because it's something that people are interested in. Bride's drinking team, popular. Somebody will buy that and wear it to a bachelorette party. These Halloween Horror Nights. This is the twenty fifth uh, anniversary Halloween Horror Night shirt. Sold for eight bucks, seven six five, about a four dollar net. Paid about seventy five cents for it. Only three twenty-five in profit, but it sold. I think that shirt sold in a couple of days. So, always look out for the Halloween type shirts. They sell pretty good. Uh, a tank top, a tattoo girl with good content, good quality. Nine dollars, probably a seventy-five cent purchase. All right, moving on. Oh, you guys remember the dress, the BCBG Maximaria dress? Paid about a dollar for it. It's very lightweight, silk. Came out of the bins at weight about a buck. Sold for fifteen. BCBG is one of those brands. Keep an eye out for Bolo on that. BCBG, Max, Max Area. Keep an eye on that brand. Here's our lovable Donald J. Trump signature top, uh, shirt. 16 and a half, 32, 33 dress shirt. It's fitted uh, out of the bins. Uh, no, this actually came out of Goodwill Retail. I think I paid a couple bucks for this one. Two or three. Sold for 14. Net of nine or 10. Six to seven dollar profit. Trump shirts sell pretty quickly. I just went on that retail uh, retail um, trip not too long ago, and this one sold within a few days, so pretty good. And uh, to finish this out, we're going to go with the fun one, the Disney Cruise Line shirt that sold for $9.99. This came out of the bins for about $0.75. Cents. It's bright. It's colorful. It's in great shape. It has the Disney characters on it. Uh, it was a small medium, which is a good size for this. Disney Cruise Line official tags. Um looking at like a five dollar profit on it but disney sells quick i'm sure this one sold within a few days i don't think i had this one long and that is um always a good thing whether you're making five dollars or fifteen dollars to sell quick is good so those are just some of the items that i've sold over the last month i just want to give you guys an idea i know it's a lot of the items you've seen in the video so i uh, hope you enjoyed taking a look at all of those items
and now we're back with me uh, after you guys got a good look at my desktop. Nothing fun to see on there. Um, that's just uh, something I'm going to do from now on. I'm going to try to do it weekly, I guess, to show you guys like a weekly breakdown of the uh, some of the sales. So you guys actually see some of the items that I pick up and I show you in the haul videos sell. So that's another idea that a couple of you gave me, uh, and I'm looking forward to doing that more of. I've done it once or twice, but I want to do more of my actual sales items so you guys can see on the screen sold for. Um, you can always go to my uh, my sold listings, the electronics with an X zone one, and uh, it's down in the description box or comments of most of my videos. People ask for it all the time, so I put it there. Um, you guys can see my sold and completed listings and get a good idea of what actually has sold beyond the items that I just showed you in this video. Um, but I'm gonna get ready and uh, edit this video, get it up, and head to bed. We have a long day tomorrow, last full day before we go on vacation. I wouldn't even call it vacation to go on a wedding trip, a road trip. Um, so I want to get that done. I got to get ready to pack. I've already got about 15 orders. I got about five more to print. So we've got 20 orders. Uh, by the time I wake up, I assume I'll have like 25. Not terrible. And uh, I'll make sure that you guys get to see this when you wake up because it's almost one o'clock in the morning now that I'm done. Um, going to take me about a half hour to edit and get this uh, posted to YouTube. It takes me about 30 to 45 minutes from the time I finish recording to the editing, to the upload or to the exporting to my computer desktop from the cameras to the uploading into YouTube. So about 30, 45 minutes, I'll have this up. So it should be right around 1.30 to 2 o'clock in the morning. I'll go to bed. We'll get up tomorrow. I'm going to do a bin trip tomorrow. I want to get enough inventory in for my mom and my sister-in-law to have while we're gone so they can list. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow with the Salvation Army Hall video from today. And then Friday Q&A. Make sure you get your questions in as soon as you can. Put them in the comment section. Email them. Message them. Uh, ESP them to me. Whatever you need to do to get them to me so I can answer as many questions on Friday as possible and of course i will be live from the hotel friday so you can put your questions in the box live for those of you that have asked you don't have to do anything special to join the live sessions simply get on youtube onto my channel around 9 9 15 every friday and as soon as i go live you'll be able to click that button and you'll be right there the chat window appears to the right type your question and i will get to it we uh me and kate both read the questions so we get to every question that's asked to us in the chats that's all you got to do nothing special guys um i'm gonna head out and get this up for you guys make sure to like this video if you liked it make sure to subscribe if you already haven't i know most of you have we're closing in on 7,000. thanks so much check us out on social media and patreon down in the bottom all my links are in the description box you guys can find me everywhere thank you so much for all the kind comments and the support the donations everything that you guys have given to me the last week the last month um and you guys are absolutely by far bar none the best fans on youtube i watch a lot of youtubers i read the comments i scroll and scroll and scroll i check out their reviews everything about them i cannot find another youtuber that has as good of fans as me thank you so much and that leaves me as kind and nice comments as you guys leave for me so thank you so much for that that means absolutely the world to both me and Kate, she's in bed, but it means the world to her, too. She really loves reading your guys' comments. So thank you so much again, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night, guys.